How's it going everyone and welcome to The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. The game I've heard is really, really bad, so I'm sure this will be a lovely venture into The Walking Dead uh, environments, or whatever you want to say. It's really unfortunate because uh, we've probably played one of the best Walking Dead games ever to be released. Um, I, I don't know if anyone's going to really be able to capitalize more on The Walking Dead than... Uh, the episodic adventures from Telltale Games, I believe. Um, that was a really good game. One game of the year from a lot of people, um, even though a lot of people argued that it was more of an interactive movie rather than a game. But just because it's not full-on super-duper action does not make it any less of a game. Maybe in some people's opinions, but uh, other than that, sure. I couldn't even find that many reviews of this game, so... It must be really bad. Usually if you can't find a lot of reviews on a game, that's usually not a good indication of, of the quality of the game you're about to play. So, this is The Walking Dead Survival Instinct had little to no marketing. I don't believe, I don't really remember seeing any ads for it on TV or on the internet. Um, only reason I heard of this is because a lot of people were bringing it up like, oh, there's a new Walking Dead game coming out. And I think a lot of people associated it with... Uh, the one that was already out that was really good, and people were probably expecting that to be very good as well. It had to be walking this way. You see it? Dixon, it comes at me. You watch where you shoot that thing, okay? Fantastic. And already, I know that I'm going to need... What am I going to need? I'm going to need some fucking... A lot more sensitivity than that, whatever the hell that was trying to give me. Like, this is this is a little bit better. You can already tell that this game, this game looks like super duper good. You know what this game reminds me of so far? Is there blood always this black? You know what this game reminds me of so far? Not, there wasn't even an intro cutscene to this, I don't think. So, so that's really good, first of all. Um, up ahead, he's signaling. Cut through the trees to see what he wants. Yeah, okay. Um, objective indicator. The red arrow points towards your current objective. Your current objective can be reviewed in the pause menu. This reminds me of Cabela's... What the hell is going on over here? Alright. A lot of a lot of blood there. Cabela's Dangerous Hunts, Most Dangerous Hunts, 20-whatever you want to call it. Um, really good stuff. I mean, that game, that game was the pinnacle of amazingness. Uh, I didn't crouch down, so I might have made too much noise. Best you crouch to keep quiet. Thank you. Thank you very much. Investigate what Buck saw. So all we have is a knife and a sniper rifle, apparently. Or just, you know, a regular rifle, if you want to call it that, with a sniper scope on it. You know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, this this already looks pretty unpromising. I already kind of figured that it, it wouldn't be one of the best games ever, you know? If you have a name like The Walking Dead attached to a video game, and there's little... I mean... You're probably not going to need that much marketing anyway, but yeah, a couple, couple commercials here and there, something like that. See ya. Oh, what? Oh shit. Well, someone's getting fucked up. How is this my problem? They fucking should have been. They should have been dealing with that problem. I was going to shoot the deer or whatever. Oh, uh oh, 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 no, he's dead. He's definitely dead. All right, cool. Let's get a couple headshots here. Some, uh, up, uh, what about the knife? Let's, let's try the knife here. There you go. There you go. You want some of the knife, buddy? You want some of the knife? Oh, shit! Why are there so many? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm already about to die. What? Please tell me that was supposed to happen. Please tell me that was supposed to happen. What in the hell, Dixon? Oh, everyone's dead. Yep. Oh, Dixon. Oh, no, man. Help me. Daryl. You okay? Dad? Oh, Dad, no! We can... Well, we could... Daryl, he's too busted up. Nothing can be done now except ease his suffering. Yeah, but he got bit too. Just kill him. Let me show you how a man does it, son. Sorry. Yeah, but he got bit too. He's gonna be fucking turning into a zombie or a walker in about, I don't know, a couple hours maybe. Something like that. 
Well, you know, it, at least at least that was supposed to happen. Because I was I was gonna be like really worried. I was gonna be really upset that I died in like the opening tutorial level, because that would have really sucked. So apparently we've learned that uh, Daryl's dad died at some point. I mean, clearly. I'm assuming that was his dad, and he's with his uncle, who killed him. You smashed a perfectly good mirror. Now, where the fuck are we gonna buy a new mirror at? It's the zombie apocalypse, are you serious? Yeah, melee attacks. Press RT to swing the weapon. Hold it to deliver a powerful attack. Melee weapons are good for taking out walkers without making much noise. What about this shit? I got some sports drink. Sports drinks and MREs can be used to s restore your condition. Wow, that's nice. Once you have equipped a restorative item, press RT to use it. I have to equip a restorative item? How do how do I equip said item? I mean, that doesn't really, that didn't really tell me how to equip the item. I mean, it just says that. Don't even tell me I have to, like, go into that every... Oh, there we go. It's the, uh... Alright, cool. Never mind, I just want the knife. Alright, what else do we got around here? We got a nice TV. Nice. Indestructible. Good old 80s television set. And I guess we're pretty much done here, then. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Hey, what's up? We gotta work up a plan. Yeah, we gotta work up a plan, like, stabbing your dumb ass. You got bit. Cool. Why are you... What is this? Ooh. MRE, nice. Uh, Daryl, come here. Shut up! I'm fucking looting your cabin. Of course you. Oh hey, collectible. One of sixteen collectibles. Oh look at this right here. See you've been you've been hiding out on me here. You got all this stuff. Sta look at all this. Look at all these sports drinks you got. You've been fucking holding out. Daryl, come here. Shut up! I'm looting your house. What what is it? What do you want? Seriously. What do you want? You ever seen anything like that? If you told me about it, I'd call you a liar. Listen. There's more of them coming. We gotta go. Yeah, the only thing we gotta do is kill every last one of them. Daryl, I know you're upset, but just listen. That sounds like a whole lot of them. We need to go now. Gather up as much as you can and meet me at the truck. Let's go then. Daryl, remember what we learned about them. Head trauma. Attack the brain. Remember, only thing we know that kills them. And be quiet sneaking out the back door. Don't let them see you. I'm, I'm interested to learn... Okay, well, it was random glass breaking. Which one's the back door? No, well, obviously not that one. I'm interested to see just how much of this is like survival, rather rather than rather than just you know a, a random generic FPS. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing, bitch? Oh, you're done. Yeah, damn right. That's pretty disgusting. He's doing push-ups. He's getting ready. Um, I'm interested to see like just how much of this actually is. About being, I don't know, I guess kind of stealthy, careful, you know, learn, learning what's going on and, and shit. I can shove, cool. I wasn't even crouching. Fuck you, bitch. There you go. Shove her ass again, and then you follow up with the thing. There you go. Sure, I wish I had a gun. That'd be nice. I wish you could loot zombies, too, but apparently not. Apparently the walkers yield... Oh, that guy's dead. Yield very little loot. Oh shit! Here we go. We got you ready for this? Oh, there's there's a there's a rifle right there. What's up, my man? See ya. Act whatever that was. That a pig? I don't I don't know what kind of animal this is. It's too it's too blurry to tell what kind of carcass this is. I can't tell if it's like a pig. I I don't know. Or no, this is a per. Wait, why is this thing chain? I'm confused here at what the fuck this thing is like. I, it's best to not figure that out. All right, ranged weapons, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna get some fuel. Fuel is vital to keeping your group on the road, and without it, your journey will end. While you can search for fuel in each area, survivors can also be sent out to find additional fuel. Oh, great. I need to find two more fuel cans. Amazing. Is is that how we're gonna be traversing the area? Through, like, you know, random fuel cans? All right, how do I switch weapons here? I mean, obviously, it's Y, but there has to be, like, a quick... Oh, yeah, oh. Okay, I guess you can't just hold it and select what you want. Oh, whatever. There you go. Can I execute him with a hammer? Come here, bitch. Oh, that wasn't the hammer. I But I have the hammer out. Why Why can't I execute with the hammer? If you, if you didn't notice, I'm really upset about this. Like, I'm, like, super upset. Come on, buddy. Just no. No, buddy. No. You 
fucking piece of shit. There. Hope you like hammer, you dumb son of a bitch. There you go. Fucking assholes. Another, yep, another fuel can. I should be able to siphon fuel out of this car, but apparently not. Apparently we just have to find random fuel cans that are located nearby. Or we can just be sniping people like... Pachow! See ya. Might as well try the gun out a little bit. I imagine what that's what this little firing range type thing is for. Look at that right there. Oh, look at that right there. Oh, there's a lot of them here. Boom! Uh, distraction items. Oh, good. Once you have equipped a distraction item, throw it. Well, this was probably the distraction area, but hey, I got some more rifle ammo. And there's more walkers! Wow! Imagine that. Bitches. So we got distraction items, we got, we got like, glass bottles that we can throw. I got all the fuel cans. Oh yeah, like, that's not gonna attract everyone. Are you fucking serious here? Yeah, beat the horn a little bit. Oh, I missed a shot! I might as well quit now. I might as well just fucking quit now, while we're ahead of things. How many, how many more walkers are there? Are they? Okay. Well, oh, whatever. I just run. I just run past him, save some of my ammo. Can I, can I jump in the back? Ow! Fuck! I can't even jump in the back of the truck. That was bullshit. Whatever. I got. I got some achievements. And I found a collectible. Jess Collins joined the group. Single cab truck found. That was. That was. Bravo right there. That was. That was nice. Round of applause for. For the end of level chapter one, whatever the fuck that was. Travel map! Here you can select your next destination and how to get there. Back roads consume more fuel, but provide additional scavenging opportunities. While taking highway conserves fuel, but bypass scavenging opportunities. That's fantastic. Um, I, I guess I can only select one destination, so... Oh, okay. Alright. Um, medium fuel usage and stop occasionally for supplies. Low fuel usage and stop only when necessary. Or, back roads. High fuel usage, but... Alright, um...